Hi guys, uh, just a quick review on Trade Zero Web, uh, the web-based browser rather than the pro platform. I do advise using the uh, pro platform rather than the web-based. Uh, just got a few more features, but uh, some people do like to stick to the web-based, so here's a quick review on that. Um, if you're thinking of joining Trade Zero and you've got any questions, drop a comment below and feel free to use our uh, discount link here. You will get a reduced fee uh, when using them. Sit back, enjoy, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. So guys, uh, this is what the uh, Trade Zero web platform looks like live. Um, I'm just doing a voiceover on this, so bear with me. Uh, the watch list's on the top left, and this is how you add symbols. You just basically type, click enter, and they'll, uh, they'll appear there. Um, basic, basic watch list. Uh, nothing too special with it. If you uh, type in a ticker, the difference between the red and green is if they're red and green on the day. Pretty obvious as well. Um, on the settings uh, menu, you can type in your hotkeys and you can customize that too. So you can have hotkeys on the web base, which is quite rare from what I've heard. And auto confirmations and stuff, if you wanna have that on, you can you know, also edit that there. Not too many settings to worry about. Um, level two, time and sales and charts. Um, I'm just gonna de-link these here and show you how to link groups. So that, you know, if you type in a different ticker, for example, you can see the chart there didn't change. Um, so we're going to link these two charts together and it's basically just you pick the group you want we'll click group C for this and you know we'll click group C for the other one and you'll see that it changes as well to the uh, to Facebook um, charts are very very basic uh, you know this is a five minute candle down at the bottom there's one minute for example they're different uh, groups and you can add different level twos, uh, different charts, and you can add new sections. And it's just basically a drag and drop uh, system. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna add and link some other charts to Facebook so that we can watch uh, ones, fives, and fifteens, for example. Um, it's a, it is a bit, uh, how do I say, um, not sketchy, that's not the right word. It's a bit temperamental, but once you've got it set off, it's pretty easy to use. Um, so you can see here, we're just gonna um, change this to group C as well. And this to group, and these should start changing to Facebook. There you go. Uh, we'll put this uh, top one here um, on one minute, five minutes, and 15s. The Biggest problem I, I've sort of seen with a web-based browser, and I don't know if it's the same with other people, is you've got to sort of like mess around with this bar at the bottom to get a good zoom in on how the chart looks. Um, yeah, it's not a, it's not ideal. And you can just add as many of these uh, different ones as you want. And at the very bottom there, you've got a news uh, article with you know news updates from from pretty much everything uh, finance related. Uh, you can change different watch, list, watch lists and you can have different watch lists like you know for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and on the portfolio you've got your open, closed and orders. So we're just going to put a limit order in here for Facebook just as a test and uh, you know basically show how to do it. So we're trying to buy 200 shares at 174.2. Click buy, accept. You can get rid of this uh, X confirmation box as well if you want to, um, but you know I like to live on the safe side. Um, as you can see, Facebook pretty much jumped me a little bit. Um, so oh, but I got a fill. Uh, did I get a fill or did I cancel that? Uh, right, okay. So just quickly checking there because I am actually watching this live <laughs> uh, and trading, but. Uh, Here's another example of a quick, uh, quick trade. So anyway, sorry guys, I'm uh, looking now at Twitter and we're just gonna put in, a, I believe, a market order uh, here. And uh, up, 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 okay. 
you can obviously there there's the short the cover options as well to buy and sell unlike interactive brokers you have to click short or cover um, you can't just click sell and you see there um, that I got a I'm putting in a market order again if you click disable this confirmation window it won't show up anymore and there you go I'm filled on Twitter and you can see it there in open positions you can see the the you know the quantity the entry the Profit and loss, the daily change, um, day change uh, in numbers as well. And uh, let's see if we can try and get out of this for a profit um, with another market order. But I wouldn't advise ever using market orders, always use limits. This is just an example on a demo account. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm not really getting green on it and I'm starting to get a little bit bored. So I'll put in here a uh, quick limit order to try and get out for a little bit of profit. But it's, uh, it's not looking too good, so. And um, on the bottom here, you can see that all the, you know, canceled orders, inactive orders, or actually accepted orders um, in the bottom part. So you can go back and see what you got to fill and what you didn't, um, which is quite a cool feature. Um, that's pretty much it guys uh, there's not too much uh, going on I would advise using the pro version with our link uh, you get the pro for pretty much the same price as the web so you got no excuses not to uh, to give it a go and um, yeah that's it I'm gonna call it there uh, have a good day guys and I'll see you soon